Scotland is a land steeped in history and culture, and its castles are a testament to its rich and fascinating past. From towering fortresses perched atop craggy cliffs to grand palaces fit for royalty, Scotland's castles are some of the most impressive in the world. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through Scotland's top five castles, exploring their history, architecture, and stunning surroundings. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply love the beauty of Scotland's landscapes, you won't want to miss this journey through some of the most iconic castles in the country. Number five, Balmoral Castle. Balmoral Castle is a large estate house located near the village of Crathy in Aberdeenshire, Scotland, and is a residence of the British royal family. The estate was acquired by Prince Albert, the husband of Queen Victoria, in 1852, and the current Balmoral Castle was commissioned soon after as the old castle was found to be too small. William Smith of Aberdeen was the architect who designed the castle, and his designs were amended by Prince Albert. The castle is an example of Scottish baronial architecture and is classified as a Category A listed building by Historic Environment Scotland. Balmoral remains the private property of the monarch and is not part of the Crown Estate. The estate has been added to by successive members of the royal family, covering an area of approximately 50,000 acres, including grouse moors, forestry and farmland, as well as managed herds of deer, highland cattle, sheep and ponies. Number 4. Stirling Castle Stirling Castle is a large and historically significant castle. It sits atop an intrusive crag surrounded by steep cliffs, giving it a strong defensive position. The castle is strategically located guarding the farthest downstream crossing of the River Forth. It has been an important fortification in the region from the earliest times. The castle was one of the most used Scottish royal residences before the union with England. It has been a palace as well as a fortress. Many Scottish kings and queens have been crowned at Stirling, including Mary, Queen of Scots, in 1542. Stirling Castle has been sieged at least eight times, including several during the Wars of Scottish Independence. Bonnie Prince Charlie unsuccessfully tried to take the castle in 1746. The present buildings at the castle were constructed between 1490 and 1600, when Stirling was developed as a principal royal center by the Stuart kings James IV, James V, and James VI. From 1800, the castle was owned by the War Office and run as a barracks. Stirling Castle remains the headquarters of the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. Number 3. Glam's Castle Glam's Castle, located in the heart of Angus, Scotland, has been owned by the Lyon family since the 14th century. The castle is situated in the lowland valley of Strathmore and has a park and gardens that produce lumber and beef. The castle dates back to 1372 and was rebuilt in the early 15th century. In 1900, Lady Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, who later became the Queen Mother, was born in the castle and spent much of her childhood there. Glam's Castle is also associated with some legends, such as the tale of the Monster of Glam's, a deformed child born to the family who was kept in the castle all his life. A vampire child is also said to be born to every generation. Number 2. Edinburgh Castle Edinburgh Castle is a historic fortress located on Castle Rock in Edinburgh, Scotland. It has been inhabited by humans since at least the Iron Age, and its history dates back to the wars of Scottish independence in the 14th century. It is a popular tourist attraction that houses the Scottish Regalia, the Scottish National War Memorial, and the National War Museum of Scotland. Edinburgh Castle has played a significant role in the history of Scotland, having been involved in many historical conflicts, including the Jacobite Rising of 1745. The castle vaults were also used to hold prisoners of war during several conflicts. The castle is now a World Heritage Site inscribed by UNESCO and is under the care of Historic Environment Scotland. Number 1. Eileen Donan Castle Eileen Donan Castle is a picturesque castle located on a small tidal island, connected to the mainland by a footbridge. The castle has a rich history that spans several centuries and has been a site of several battles, clan feuds, and wars. During the Jacobite Rising of 1745, the castle was captured and destroyed by the Royal Navy. It was later rebuilt in the 20th century and opened to the public in 1955. The castle underwent several additions and reductions over the years. 
Today, Eileen Donan Castle is a popular tourist destination and is regularly described as one of the most photographed monuments in Scotland. 